I have an old lens for you today from the 1950s. Hello, welcome back. Thanks for joining me again. Today is lens number 10 of the seven lenses in seven days. This is the early version of a Leica Summerit 50mm f1.5. It's different to the modern Leica Summerit 50mm which comes in either f2.4 or f2.5. I do have that lens and I'll do that in a separate video. But this is a quick size difference. The older lens is heavier and larger. How much do these old lenses cost? I checked eBay and the current price seems to be around £500. Like with all Leica lenses I think the price goes up slightly year on year. I imagine I paid less than this when I bought mine for the Leica M9 quite a few years ago, more than five years ago. If you want to buy a modern Leica Summerit you cannot buy the f1.5 you have to buy the 50mm f2.4. My second version is a 2.5 but the current one is a f2.4. The modern equivalent of this lens seems to cost around £1,370 so it's quite a bit more than the older lens but they are completely different so you cannot really compare them other than the fact that they have the same name which is a little bit confusing. In terms of some details about this lens it was released in the 1950s but it is like a M mount so it will fit all the modern Leica M cameras. The problems with lenses of this age is the coatings on the front and back of the lenses were known to be softer coatings, meaning they were quite prone to being scratched. I was very lucky that the lens I bought came with the original Leica UV filter. Let's put that on. So the UV filter matches and it came on the camera. So this filter has managed to keep the the front lens element pretty much pristine. Other than the issue of copies of this lens often being scratched. If for example you're trying to buy one on eBay you have to be really careful. Another common issue with lenses of this period is they are more prone to fogging. Again my copy seems to be clear. I tried to work out the filter size for you because the there's no marking on the UV filter which is on the lens. I mounted a 40.5 step ring which I use on some of the early lenses from around this period. This will fit 40.5 filters fit this lens but this UV filter does not fit a 40.5 alternative lens which makes me think that maybe this is 40 millimeter filter size. If you buy a 40.5 filter adapter you can use a 52 mil filter on this lens for example because I've tested it with my own uh, filters. Being an old lens it is very prone to flaring like much more than most of the other Leica lenses I've got other than maybe lenses of the same era 1950s. You can use this as kind of a, a creative effect but in terms of it's not a lens to use every day because it has too many flaws. Many people see flaws as character. Character equals artistic and then equals happy photographer but some lenses you can use for kind of client work and it just gets the job done such as the I still got it here the, the summer looks we talked about. The summer looks 50mm f1.4 spherical. That just gets the job done, no questions asked, and you never have to worry. This is not a lens that you can rely on in terms of high quality sharp images with reasonable amount of contrast because you're going to get low contrast, you're going to get soft looking images wide open with kind of like almost like the vintage smear, maybe kind of look. They are sharp, it seems, from my copy, relative for its age, but because, because there's so little contrast, the apparent sharpness is much lower. So it literally looks very kind of milky kind of looking. This can be really nice for arty looking pictures, but it's not a good lens to use in bright conditions. In low light conditions, I'd say it's more favourable because then you can get kind of the glow from the, the light sources and it looks kind of quite cool. And again, kind of a bit vintage, kind of portrait style, maybe Hollywood glamour-esque. So great lens, but not for every day. This is quite a weighty lens. One thing, if you come to research this lens, is it's, it, there seems to be very little information on the internet. I couldn't find anything online about how much it weighs, so I managed to find some digital scales. And this lens without the UV filter weighs 277 grams. It's a brass lens, so it, 
it's the, the old style kind of heavy metal and brass and it is going to be heavier than like a modern version so being a 1.5 lens it is usually sharp wide open and if i decide to use this lens i tend to use it wide open because otherwise i may as well, I may as well just use maybe the an older f2 lens such as the simicron 50 mil dual range dr that we've already talked about or any of the other vintage lenses that we've not yet talked about and i need to talk about at some point there's a lot of lenses still to come but i might have to do phases of lens re reviews and then a batch of camera reviews and then maybe some out and about videos and then back to lens reviews otherwise i'm going to get bored myself <laughs> this everyday lens 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 i'll show you some examples the images are pretty much i think 99.99 all shot at f1.5 here you can see some examples of using the like m9 which is the lens i bought it for i haven't used it a huge amount on the like m240 but there's a couple of example images i've used it on the like cl and also the like M8. It does have quite a special look, but you really need to be aware of the characteristics of the lens and then use the lens to its strengths. Avoid the weaknesses, if that makes sense, or use its weaknesses as its strengths, I guess is a nice way of looking at it. Use the flare to your advantage, use the low contrast to your advantage use the kind of vintage like a glow to your advantage so if you're doing like a stylized photo shoot and you want something to look more period from like back in the 50s this would be an excellent lens because it'd be very difficult to create a similar look with a modern looking lens with without the kind of with less of the like a glow as i say i will do a review on the modern like a summit at a later date if you have experience with this lens or have perhaps the LTM mount version, I believe there's a, also an LTM mount Summer Ritz 50mm f1.5. Please let me know in the comments because from what I see online, it's not a particularly well known lens. I hope you found this useful and please hit the like button if you did. And as always, if you've not yet subscribed and you like this type of content, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you again soon, probably with a non lens video, possibly still like related. I've yet to decide. See you back here soon. Bye.